Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M2, 2, 1. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video what we're going to see are the different modes of the PID function that we have in the software. So, let's go to the presentation. So, before starting with the configuration of everything that we need for the PID, it's important to know the different modes that we have inside the PID Assistant. So, once we open the PID Assistant, what we have are different modes. We have all these four uh, five tabs here. These five tabs, okay, that allow us to configure the complete control that we have for the variable that we want to measure and have action on the process. So, if we go to the general tab, we should be able to select between PID mode, PID with auto tune mode, auto tune, and word address. Then inside the PID, we have the possibility to disable the uh, derivative part and in the output we should be able to access to the manual mode in case we want to assign a specific value in the output of the control okay so let's start by seeing this graph depend on the configuration that we have in the wizard assistant we should be able to see different um, different blocks or uh, diagram of our control okay so let me just open the m um, to one so i can show you okay let me just disconnect from here this is one application one example that i'm trying to do to show later so let's open the configuration okay so by default we don't have anything so we need to start doing the configuration so if we select for example pad we should be able to see this overview. So we have the input, the configuration of the input. Okay, then we have the PID. And in the PID, if we click over here, we should be able to see the set point and then the parameter for the um, for the PID. And inside the PID, we have PID or PI, okay, without the derivative part. Okay, you can see it's zero. And the other thing is that, for example, we are going to see that later, but we have uh, more blocks inside here that will depend on some additional features, for example, the scaling, alarms, filtering, PWM. That's going to show more things over here. So, auto tuning, it will add the auto tuning. Okay, PID with auto tuning. And here we have word address. Okay, that basically the word address allow me to select the different modes using a variable. But we're gonna cover that in a few minutes. So, for example, in the input, if we select the conversion, filtering, and alarms, if we go back, you should be able to see here that I have the linearization or conversion, and then the filtering, and then the alarms. Okay, here in the output, you can enable the manual mode and the PWM. And if you go back here, you should be able to see more interaction on the block and if you have any doubt you just need to go to where you want and then the system will guide you so this is basically what i wanted to show you on the uh, on the modes but let's go deeper a little bit more so it's just an overview okay just the difference As you can see the pin only you have all this and that's all so the important one is the word address mode because we can link a percentage NW variable and we can change the configuration of the mode that we're going to select. Okay, for example, if this percentage NW um, something okay is zero, then the PID control is disabled, and then if it's one, it will activate only PID, if it's two, PID without tuning, three only auto tuning okay and four it has the control of the pid but it only works as a pi okay so that is something good in case you want to have for example on uh, hmi a variable that you can change between different kind of controls then this word address is going to be good or to just define what you want and that's it so 
something important here for all the modes is that even if you isolate word address or PID or auto tuning, we can link um, the actual process or the state or the status of the PID with a variable, as I show you here. So if we go to the journal, we can link a percentage NW variable, okay, another one to the uh, to this variable bit state, so we can see uh, further information about what we are doing if we have an error on the configuration or if the PID is not activated or something okay so here you can find a table okay this is on the help but this is uh, the more important here it's not activated here this one in hexadecimal uh, the pin control is in progress okay it's something to check um, while I was doing this, this one I wasn't able to complete it, so I need to investigate further. But this one has at least give you an idea that okay, you had the configuration right, and then the PID is working. So if we have an error on the configuration, okay, we have additional information. Okay, so if you are using the um, a value of percentage NW. Uh, I believe this value is probably going to see it in minus, okay? Uh, because the first, the last bit, okay? Uh, probably this is not this one. But if you put the value next to the decimal, you should be able to see something here. Um, and here, for example, is um, indication where to find the error, okay? Or what is linked. For example, linear conversion mean and max and equal. Here is the conversion in the input. But if it's not authorized, then there is nothing to do. Then you have, for example, the set point limit that is going to be linked also with this part. Uh, and then you have also the set point less than zero and greater that this link it directly to the set point. So here you can, that value can tell you, okay, if you have an issue on. On the configuration and um, that's all so what i want to do just to show you quickly it's not finished this one but just to show you the different variables that we have okay so in case you don't remember we cannot simulate the pid so we must have a real control so if we go table underscore pid we're going to see that later I'm using here the PID block and I have already configured it. So here you can see the PID state. Probably it would be good to show you my initial configuration. Um, this one here. So I'm using the word address so I can make some more versatile program here. And I'm linking the PID state to this variable. Okay. And then I have quickly configured this part. I don't want to use conversion, filter, or alarms. I don't want to do it now. I link the set point, the parameters. Uh, and I'm going to use auto tune in this part and the output, just reverse action and the analog output. Once I have all that, I have created this table. And in the table, uh, I have uh, the, the word address, the uh, to, to, to what else the status and then the different kind of output and input of the block okay so here I'm using this variable to activate the function block as you can see now the PID is running because if we go back over here the X value okay is 2000 2000 uh, to do we go back to the program now okay if i disconnect this it's in zero okay this one for example i'm going to use another bit mode i don't know 12 it's not in the range so you have an issue over there uh three there is no configure anything but i believe one is the one for the pid and you can see this doing something here the output I'm going to show you later how it works, but this is just an overview of how to realize the different uh, modes that we have on the PID. Okay, remember that the word address is going to be uh, useful if you are 
trying to make the programming uh, more versatile but in order to make it work you will need also to link the different complements that comes with the different modes for the auto tuning for the pi id and all these uh, doo -doo -doo. Over here doo -doo -doo, PID. so you will need to make sure that you have linked most of the variables inside okay inside your program so um this is it for the different kind of mode that we have in the PID. Later, we're going to see how we are going to work with the inputs, with the outputs, how to scale in, in a different way. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.